In this video, I'll show you how to combine like terms and expressions containing multi brackets. Question 1 asks Combine like terms in the following two expressions. In expression A, we have the following, and you'll notice that in expression A, we have square brackets and round brackets. The square and round brackets determine the hierarchy in which you will focus your attention to first. The square brackets tell us that we have to focus on this part of the expression, while the round brackets that are within this square bracket tell us that we have to focus now on this part before anything else. So focusing on y plus 2, the term y and the term 2, they're not like terms, so they can't be combined. So your next mode of action would be to multiply this negative situated right outside of this bracket into the two terms, and this is known as the distributive law. What this will do is it will actually liberate these two terms so that they can be combined with the rest that are found within this highlighted region. So let's go ahead and do that. 3x minus 2y plus 5z minus y minus 2 square bracket closes plus 3 minus 7z. Look what happened here. By multiplying this negative into the two terms, the round brackets disappeared. Now these two y's can be combined. If you combine them correctly, you should end up with 3x minus simply y plus 5z minus 2 plus 3 minus 7z. These three terms cannot be combined. Neither are like terms. So we have to liberate these three terms by multiplying this negative into the three terms to its right. Let's go ahead and do that. And if you do this correctly, you should end up with this expression. 3x minus y minus 5z plus 2. Notice that this negative 2 and this negative made it positive. Plus 3 minus 7z. I'm going to highlight the like terms. This one and this one are like this one and this one are alike, giving us 3x minus y minus 12z plus 5. This is the simplified version of A. Moving on to B, in B we have curly brackets now, and that tells us that we need to focus on everything found inside of it first. And within the curly brackets you have these square brackets, which means now you have to focus your attention here. And within the square brackets, there are round brackets, which means you have to focus your attention on to here. Now, since z and 5y are not like terms, you need to liberate these two terms by multiplying this negative 2 inwards. Let's go ahead and do that. If we do that, we end up with negative 5, negative 2, 3y, minus 2z, minus 10y. You need to be very careful while doing this because it's easy to make a mistake. Plus y. Now that we've liberated these two terms, we need to liberate these three terms. But unlike before, these can actually be combined. 3y minus 10y. Instead of rewriting everything, I'm just going to replace negative 10y with negative 7y. These two terms cannot be combined. So we need to liberate them with this negative 2. And we end up with negative 5 curly brackets plus 4z plus 14y minus z plus 4 plus y on the outside. You don't need this plus at the front. This and this can be combined. If you combine them, you end up with 3z. These three terms are not like terms, so we need to liberate them by multiplying this negative 5 into the bracket. This is known as the distributive law. Negative 15z. Negative 5 times 14 is negative 70y. Negative 5 times 4 is positive 20. To combine these now, only the y's are like terms, so we end up with negative 15z minus 69, y plus 20. And so there you have it. 
That is how to combine like terms and expressions containing multi-brackets.